Hello everyone. Well, it's been quite a while since I have vlogged. It's been quite a while since I've done a true travel vlog. It is mid-May. The weather is very nice. Yet we're all kind of still in a pause right now in this stay-at-home COVID-19 world. Well, things are starting to open back up again. Not so much in Illinois yet, but we're getting there. But things are opening up here in Wisconsin. And we are traveling to Wisconsin today. One of the main things that I'm here for today is actually to cut down this crazy hair. Hair salons in Illinois are not open yet, but they are starting to open up here in Wisconsin. So I'm going to try to find a place that doesn't have too long of a wait time. And hopefully use this opportunity to do some classic memories by Wayne Wisconsin vlogging. I really don't have a specific plan yet. It's going to really kind of depend on where I end up, which rate clips I actually choose to go to. And then we will figure it out from there, but that is the plan today. Let's continue on north. All right, the Wisconsin haircut adventure continues north. I decided against going to the great clubs closer to the border. They all had high wait times, or you couldn't even do online check-in you would have to go there, check in, and then wait for the two plus hours. So we are continuing north towards the Milwaukee area. I am not actually going to go to one near Milwaukee, but going to go to one in sort of the outer suburbs of Milwaukee. The wait times are less there. And kind of in my thought as well, the ones outside of the cities of like Kenosha, Racine, and Milwaukee are probably a little safer COVID-19 wise. So, and it's just a random Wisconsin driving adventure, so why not? I mean, there's nothing bad about driving the Wisconsin country roads. So, yeah, it's kind of a random day. Uh, I really don't know what I'm going to do after this now, but we are headed north. I'm actually going to Muskego, Wisconsin. Great clubs up there, and I'm not even sure if I've been to Muskego before, so we're just continuing on. All right, it should be in here somewhere. There it is. Right over there. All right, let's do this. I'll see you on the other side. And with that, we are done. It was a very simple, easy process. I checked in. I waited outside probably no more than like five minutes. Got in, got out. All the customers and employees were required to wear masks. So that was very awesome. So I say this was a good productive day, but we're in Wisconsin. I gotta figure something else to do. 
just now to figure out exactly what. I do have some ideas, depending on what's open. So let's see. All right, so guess where we ended up? Yep, the famous Smiling Barn, Elegant Farmer, in McGuanago, Wisconsin. We are going to get some food and have a socially distant, safe lunch outside. Oh yeah, I'm ready for this. First, we're going to make our way around this way. I gotta check out the East Troy train stuff, of course. Of course, the barns do not look like they're open right now, but... Let's check out the train depot, anyway. South Shore car. Fall of 2010. I do remember when this train arrived. It was a pretty Pretty big deal. They did some really awesome renovation to this thing, and I'm pretty sure I wrote on it as well. Let's head inside and get some food. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this place definitely gives me home, away from home feel, I'll tell you that. Now we gotta figure out what we're gonna get here. No. They are definitely famous for their pies. We may up with one of those today.
right, and this is the one we're going with. The nine inch original apple pie. I'm not sure what they're doing up there. <laughs> Trying to get out. <laughs> Something, yeah. Maybe we should check, hey, no. <laughs> I think this will be a good dessert. It's either this or the apple, but I have apple down there, so I think this is going to be my dessert for lunch anyway. The last one left of these, which is going to go to my wife. Very awesome. I think my wife might actually like this too. I may have to grab that. I mean, look at this thing, it has to be good. Alright, we are actually going to be switching things up here. I got this pecan cookie, which seemed really interesting, so I want to try that. So we're just gonna switch that with the cherry pie. Probably a little messy, less messier anyway, so. Put that back there. But yeah, I really wanna try this peacock cookie. That just sounds really good. But now I think we got most of the stuff that we need right here. Now I just have to actually order my lunch. So we're gonna head over to the deli. Back that way and do that now. All right, we got our lunch. I will show you that in a minute. I'm grabbing another cinnamon roll. Tomorrow is my wife's birthday. So I think we're going to have a cinnamon roll breakfast tomorrow. And these are pretty big, but I think we'll go safe and get one for each of us. So, my lunch is paid for, now I just have to pay for the rest of this stuff. Alright, we got all our stuff paid for. Now we gotta go eat our lunch. See what we got here. Here's the big reveal. If it wants to stay open. This is what we're dealing with. As my fellow YouTuber Adam DeWoo would say. Putting my water bottle on here so this actually stays closed. We have turkey and Swiss. Yes, this looks very good. Well, see the Swiss, the turkey is down in there. Oh yeah, got mayo, tomato, lettuce, and for the side, we chose the classic chips. Looking good. So we're gonna get into this and I'll reveal my pecan cookie at the end. Wow, this is a big sandwich. Wow, this is, this is gonna be good. Oh yeah. I mean, you can never go wrong with turkey and Swiss, but this is good. The bread is toasted, this makes it even better.
Very good. Let's try in the ships now. Definitely like the uh, Kettle Cook chips. Kind of has a barbecue flavor to it, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not going to say it is barbecue or not, but definitely kind of has a barbecue flavor to it. The Kettle Cook chips, very, very good. Got a little bit of a tang to it, like I said, so it might be barbecue, but actually this is really, really good. That is a big sandwich. I might be saving the rest of this for tomorrow, but I gotta try at least some of this peacock cookie. I mean, come on, look at this thing. Peacock cookie. I don't recall the last time or if I've ever had a peacock cookie. I had peacock pie, but a peacock cookie, I don't really know. I almost went with the peanut butter and then saw this one and switched it. Like, I love my peanut butter cookies, but yeah, I, I gotta try this, uh, this pecan here. All right, let's do this. This is good. <laughs> it still kind of tastes like a peanut butter cookie, but it might might be. But yeah, this is even better. I mean, there's a uh, you know the pecan. But it also looks like there's some white chocolate chips in here too, and white chocolate anything is among my favorite right there along with with peanut cookies and anything peanut butter related white chocolate is, is right up there i'll take white chocolate over regular chocolate any day i know that's probably not a popular opinion but that's i'm going with the white chocolate anytime wow can't really beat the cookies here. You know, it's right along with the with their pies. But the cookies are just amazing. But I think I'm gonna <laughs> save half of this as well and eat that with the. <laughs> the rest of my lunch uh, later. But yeah, this is good. It's definitely hard to uh, put down for sure. Yeah, I, I got. I could easily eat this whole thing. So, but I want to save this for my lunch tomorrow. So, we're gonna wrap up the lunch here and uh, continue on. Wait a minute, who is this hiding here? I forgot about you. Oh yeah. A good sandwich is not complete without the pickle. Yeah, we'll finish this guy off. Excellent. So that's my official food review. Excellent. That's about as extensive as I'm going to get with the food review. It was excellent, but I didn't expect anything less here. And just for the record, you can see we are being very socially distant. Not even anyone eating over there. 
And we just got some people over here, so. I think we're good. But we are going to head back into the washroom and wash up before we head on out. And for anyone who is interested, the little building next to the Elegant Farmer that is usually either closed or has been a variety of different businesses throughout the years is currently a CBD dispensary. That is very interesting. Different to say the least.